Hello y'all. Welcome to part two of my Reichland playthrough in Total War Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires, and that is what we're doing right now. And in part one, well, in part one, we defeated the Empire Secessionists in a battle, and how to say the Empire Secessionists did not have a fun time. They got beat down pretty hard, their lore got killed. Also in part one, we were introduced obviously to Carl Franz, our legendary lord. And besides that, the most important of all, we made several new, well, we did some diploma, diplomatic actions. And we made some non-aggression packs with Sterland, Wisterland, and I believe Talbakland as well. And that's what we did there, yeah, non-aggression packs. We also got some trade rights, made a trade agreement with Helmut Fredger, Fred Fjordbark, Fjordbach here in Talbakland. The elector count there and at this point in time I'm not even past turn one so what I need to do is go ahead and hit in turn and I'm not gonna make you sit through the whole turn in turn process calls an immortal empires how to say there's a lot of fa there's a lot of factions here and it takes it feels like forever just waiting for them all to take their turn so I'll just cut ahead to when that's all finished turn two has arrived and we recruited a couple units and they are some swordsmen and some spearmen, just some basic units the Empire can recruit. And right now my objective is to use my army and go attack Grunberg here. We need to control all of Reichland. We need it under control of Karl Franz and Oltdorf ultimately. We've got to destroy the Empire Secessionists who control all these minor settlements. I don't think they even have walls defending them. I'm not even sure, but we'll find out. Let's charge in now. And this should be easy, clear victory, and we have some pre-battle options, we can encircle, let me just auto-resolve, it's a clear victory, no point in just fighting them in the field, we just gotta get through, through every city we can. And that is a victory there, close victory, that, how many casualties did we take? We took 283 casualties, good thing I got some new units, that is rough, we captured 84 units though, and we gained a rank for Empire Friends, I mean, what am I saying, Car Friends, the Emperor? And that is done. Post-battle options. What do we do? I mean, we are going to basically integrate this into Reichland. It is part of Reichland by territory, territorial means, so let's occupy it. This isn't like an enemy settlement we're intending to destroy or anything like that. It's part of the Empire. So now, we have two settlements left. We need to go fight for. We may have to wait another turn, perhaps. And can I get another trait for Carl Franz? Yes, I can. Let's give him Inspiring Presence, because that's useful to have. And we're done there. Can we just leave now, or we're just going to stay in our quarters and heal up? Yeah, we can't. We're going to have to just wait here. I should have just stayed in town, though. I wonder if that's going to improve, improve, oh, how to say, improve replenishment. We gain a follower called a Hunter that adds to our ambush success chance nice and can I get any more units yes I can and global recruitment all that stuff and what could I do here let's grab ourselves some how much gold do we have tons and tons of gold I wonder if you can change the tax policy in the well in Total War Warhammer 3 I'm not entirely sure but let's grab some how to say some free company militia are they slightly more expensive let's grab some of them and some swordsmen and that's that, so we're done there. And at this point in time, can we go ahead and in turn? We are upgrading Altdorf from a hamlet into a village. And that is going on. It's been, it's been going on since we started the playthrough. Can I upgrade anything here? Well, I don't think I can. In Grunberg, the miner's settlement we just captured from the secessionists, there is a hamlet and there is a grazing, well, grazing pastures that will help our income, our growth, and our casualty replenishment rate, which is terrific. And I think I'm going to have to go ahead and hit in turn and go to turn three. We have recruited some new units. And besides that, I want to say that when we started, there was 274 factions in the entire world. Now there is only 271. Not too big of a difference, obviously, but I'm just saying a few very minor factions have died, it seems. And can I change? Do let me check here. So move the army out. Where's the rest of the places we have to capture? Is there different stances I have to worry about? Elector count, rec regiments of renown? I don't think there is. There is, oh yes, yeah, stances. We're gonna have to march. Ambush, no, raiding, encamp. 
channeling. I think I'm going to have to go march. That's going to improve our movement speed. Do I need to go ahead and do that? That would take a while to reach, how to say, this place. Well, this place we got to capture that belongs to the Empire Secessionist. And that is Upsarik. Can we reach it? No. Let's go into marching mode. Then I don't think the Empire Secessionist even has an army to field. They're just kind of a very easy faction to defeat. But let's go into marching mode now. Or does it even matter? Because in marching mode, I don't think we can even enter a battle. So I think I'm just not going to bother. We're already one turn away from this place here. But I don't want to risk any major casualties either. And I mean, we could risk it. Vigor in battle, tired ambush. Recruitment is disabled, battle initiation is disabled. So there's like no point to just going into march mode just to get closer to that settlement we'll attack in the next turn anyway. So let's grab a couple more units. We have the money for this and get some archers that could help us out, give us more range. Let me in fact grab, grab more, what is this, more spearmen? Is that right? Yes, yeah, spearmen. We need more spearmen. So some archers and some spearmen will do us, do us just fine as we're building up our military even more. And can I change like the tax policy? Is that a thing we can do in this game? I'm not entirely sure. I believe it is. Garrison details. That's the building browser. Recruit lord. Okay, control. That's not right. Collect income. Yes. Is there anything we can do? I don't know if you can change tax level or not. I thought there was, but I could be wrong. Let me look, in, look on the diplomacy map. I don't think that would do us any good, so actually, forget it. Forget it. I know in Total War Warhammer there isn't really a food system, however there is other stuff we need to keep track of. And how is our prestige looking? That's nice. It's going up, I think. And I don't know how well, how useful prestige really is, but it makes us more influential, I suppose, within the Empire of Man. And right now we're going to make a lot of income in the next turn. Army upkeep is our most expensive thing. And it's only going to rise as this campaign continues, but it's fine. We had to have a big army in order to fight the rebels. Who, the Empire Secessionists do, in fact, have an army here. They're growing it themselves. So good thing I'm not in marching mode as we speak. And at this point, let me go ahead and hit in turn to get into turn four. We got some world events, it seems. We have encountered a faction. And it is, let me see here. This is, what is this? This is the... The Fukundites, they are Chaos affiliated. That is, in fact, that is Festus the Leech Lord. That's a little concerning. And besides that, we have a population surplus in Reichland now. And we can use that to build more stuff, I believe. I think so. So let's go to Altdorf and start working on something new. Can we build any special buildings? No, no landmarks. Let's build a stable that will allow us to recruit. Recruit Empire Knights if we have a Blacksmith and Pistoliers, which, which we don't need any special buildings for, so that's great. And now, let's move on to this settlement here and engage this army first and go ahead and fight them. They're in an encampment, though, so I don't know. Let's go face them and see what they can do. And they are running away. I need to go ahead and destroy that army, though, or, or I could attack this settlement now. They're running away. They're retreating. They are going to come back later and be a nuisance. But this settlement is right here. I don't have the turn time. I don't have enough movement, how to say, movement points left to pursue that army. So let's go, go ahead and attack Uber Sarik. I may have to fight this manually since there is a chance we could take some casualties here. That could be a problem for us if we're going to fight that army like in the next couple of turns. So I think I'm going to have to fight this battle manually, even if this settlement isn't that... It isn't that important in the grand scheme of things. We are on the field now. And I think the enemy, this is just a settlement garrison we're up against. And they just have a, they have some swordsmen, some crossbowmen, and some spearmen. That's it. And let me move this army back here. We're going to form one main army, well, a couple army groups. The cavalry are going to be left on their own. I would form an army group out of them, but it's no need to do that. So make an army group here. That's guard mode, whoops, group. I think guard mode is used for when you don't want your units to chase after some troops. I think that's how that works. They just hold their ground. We don't need that for this engagement, though. So here we have some archers, cavalry, I mean, free company militia, handgunners. And let's keep the free company militia. We'll put them with group one shortly. Just make this a group here. 
or just remove these guys all together. Just remove them. They'll be on their own. So the cavalry put in Carl Franz with the main infantry group since they'll be attacking all together in one big mass. And that'll be done now. That is done. And I forgot. Oh my goodness gracious. I made a mistake, didn't I? Did I? Perhaps. So group three. What is group three? That is group three effectively. I gotta redo that, don't I? Yes. Yes, I do. So let's redo that now. So form a group up with these guys. That is done. So the cavalry, like I said, will be left on their own as well as the... As well as the... The... What is it? The... Wait, what is this here? Group lock. Okay. Group lock this. That is done. And so the cavalry will be left on their own. But let's move all these units forward. All of group two will go up here to the front. Will this be a mistake? I don't know. If they rush us, it might be. Could very well be. So start the battle now. And have those units go and attack as soon as possible. Launch your projectiles, please. Let's move part of Army Group 4 over here. There's their commander, I think. Some swordsmen. That's what's happening with... Well, that's who's leading this unit, this garrison force. Moving with our handgunners and archers on that position up ahead. We have to get up a hill. It's a minor... Well, these guys up here, these spearmen, bring the mortar to bear against them. We have the range. Or mainly, I'm noticing most of the enemy's army is set up over there on the left side of the battlefield in the minor, minor settlement of Ubzarik. Ubzarik? Ubzarik? Just chase after these units here. They're not really doing anything for some reason. Chase after them with the spearmen. And move this mortar around, actually. Aim at these guys. Change your positions. And, in fact, fire the mortar at these units here. Just stationary. I mean, they're not moving at all here. The general's unit. Whoever's leading this garrison, anyway. They don't expect anything, as far as I know. The Empire Secessionist will get a rude awakening soon if they do not move. And they are moving now. I can see the mortar volley, the mortar shots coming in. And it lands. It doesn't hit anything. They move that, move that out of the way. And should I bring in the ranged units? Possibly. Let's bring them in now. Get the rest of these guys here. They're not really doing anything. Oh no, they can fire at them now. They're moving closer. Fire those spearmen that are approaching forward. Mortar. You aim over there. Good. And we're firing now at those spearmen up the hill. And some troops capture locations. Yes, I can see those on the field. But there's those troops now. Can I zoom in any closer? Okay, there we go. Yeah. Some structure just fell down. Some the Something belonged to the Empire Secessionists. They're taking a lot of gunfire. And they're going to have to fight the close quarter company. I mean, the free company militia, I believe they're called. Move back. The archers are firing. Doing some damage there. They took some casualties. So let's bring in the Free Company Militia now and take care of those spearmen since they've taken a fair amount of casualties. And let's now move in our army to face the enemy force here who has not really taken much damage from mortar fire like I hoped they would. Fire off the mortars one more time. They aren't really hitting nothing. Have them fire once more. I imagine the Free Company Militia are doing all right against those spearmen. They're just spearmen. Free Company Militia are better units, I believe. And the shot is being fired off now. And they've been broken. Those guys are destroyed entirely. So let's move here and capture these locations overall. We're going to probably destroy the entire enemy army. Let's go ahead and march forward. Advance now. Attack. Don't worry about the mortars anymore. They are going to be broken down. They have a few more units still in reserve, I think. So moving all of armor group one here. I mean, the, forget it. Just move in with this group on the left, one on the right. Had the cavalry be in the rear. Or do something with them. I don't know. Oh no, that's an enemy unit. I see them. They are right there. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Fight those swordsmen, please. Turn a mortar on those guys. Thank you, mortar. Free company militia back up. There's so many. They have Their garrison is not very big, but they do have... They aren't going to just give up. So here we go with the Reichsguard and move forward. I'm not going to engage, though. And check on the right side. You're up against all this, these Empire Secessionist swordsmen in their blue and white uniforms are up against all of our ranged units. They'll probably get annihilated like our like the enemy spearmen, but we'll see. The mortar is firing. Here's some shot from the handgunners. They got a direct hit from the mortar. That splattered. That destroyed like half... Well, I, I don't know. It killed at least, say, 12, 6 men. That's generous, though. Just fire at them till they break. That's the plan with them. Check on the left side now. Should be... Okay, they're chasing out the wrong guys. Fight them. Fight those guys, please. Break them. 
So break those spearmen in the way. They're just kind of isolated. They're just left on their own. They're going to be, a, well, they're not some, they are isolated, but they're just going to kind of be a sacrifice here, I guess. And they are engaging the main bulk of the Reichsland force in the field. Color Franz is in the fight. Some guy lost his arm, it looks like, where he's bleeding. A lot of blood all around. We got overwhelming numbers here, without a doubt. And let's check on the other side. Those guys are broken here. That is, yeah, they're annihilated. Just look at them run. They are done for. They are retreating. And, but it's oh, the mortar does not show any mercy, though. And they just get blown to pieces. A good portion of the unit's been destroyed while they are routing. And they're just going to get pounded by the ranged units from behind. And that is unfortunate for them. And I think I'm going to end part two of my Reichland playthrough in Total War Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires here. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe.